have water signs. This is part two. Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> what else? All right, this is part two. This is surrender to your intuition. Okay. All right. Now, someone, there may be, okay. Her eye, there's green in her eye. Okay. What does that mean to you? Green in the eyes. Eyes green with envy, maybe, right? Um, it could easily be also that you are seeing things um, from a space, from your heart space, right? There needs to be a clearing there, though. You may be seeing things from past mistakes, viewing things, viewing, viewing the present based on the past, right? So they want you to clear out that heart chakra or do that work that um, has to do with centering the heart, connecting the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, especially the heart and the throat, okay? Um, I also feel with this card, let me look at her. Look at this eye. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. It's a nice eyelash. Hmm? Um, I also feel... That there may be something that you've been avoiding uh, paying attention to. So you may have had some issues here. If you've been avoiding paying, uh, uh, seeing things for what it is, like there may have been a lot of red flags, a lot of things, um, horns, whistles, all types of sounds have been going off to warn you of something, but you haven't been in tune with your star player. So by doing that, you may um, be in a space where you need to, allow things to be what they are and see things from um, the perspective of the truth in the matter is what I feel like it is. Seeing the truth in a matter instead of trying to um, come from a space where you're loving and caring and compassionate, it's time for you to see things from a truthful, a realist standpoint, right? Even though intuition is much more broader than that. But that's what I really feel with that. Clarify this uh, surrender to your intuition, please. Thank you. Clarify that for me. Archangel Uriel is here. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. The heart and then the cramp. Okay, well, the mind, right? And the thoughts or, you know conditioning programming so if you saw part one it has a lot to do with part one so what i feel like archangel uriel is giving okay is that now is the time to see things for what it is right but whoever hurt you or whatever hurt you in the recent past it can't hurt you again unless you allow it to um when you surrender to your intuition you'll be able to spot certain things once you do the healing work you'll be able to spot certain things when they occur or right when they occur before they even occur you already know that i'm about to walk into a weird situation but let me allow myself to you know you set your boundaries you do your bubble of protection and then um you move into the situation, allowing it to unfold as far as it should, right? Not as far as you, you know, it can it can unfold as far as you allow it. You can keep on going and going and going, but once you've seen it, it's like, no, you've seen this, so now it's time for you to not fall for that again, right? You see it, right? So that's what I feel like that is what's going on with that. Uh, many of you are in a space where you want to love your partner more. You need to love your partner more. You need to come from a more unconditional space with loving your partner in order to bring in um, the love that is meant for you, a life partner. It may be that you need to work on that, um, healing your emotions in that space and using your intuition more than um, just only, you know, your heart and your mind, right? You want to uh, use the insight that is given, bestowed upon you. When it comes to these situations, I also feel that um, you may be in the spotlight or you may have been put in a position to um, be at the forefront of some things and this is your time to shine and it may be very emotional for you as well because of some things that may have happened when you were younger, right? And now it's time for you to really shine here 
And what happens is you have to release that anger. You have to release, you know, whatever, whoever you need to forgive, go ahead and forgive yourself and forgive the person. Um, whatever needs to be done, go ahead and allow that to be done because here you're working on the heart and the way that you look at things that have um, happened in the past, it has to do with the heart space, okay? This will help you to communicate and, and with, a, with a certain type of boundary as well when it comes to what you will and will not allow, your standards, your principles, your um, what it is that makes you you and what it is that you are not allowing people to... Um, allowing to allowing people to come in and possess your power right we were just talking about giving handing over your power when you are angry or frustrated handing over your power to other people when you are when you step outside of your character right now then clarify archangel uriel you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping teaching or parenting children. Part one says I'm about kids too. That's Rosetta. Now, with this gift for working with young people, whatever it is that you have gone through that you are seeing, you may see it in the news, you may see it on social posts, you may see it in certain types of articles, it may just keep coming to your mind. That's your speciality. You are well-versed in what it, whatever it is. Maybe it's children's books. I don't know. But you are well-versed in what it is that um, is required to work with children. But you have to heal your emotions first. You have to heal some emotional connection that has to do with um, the anger, the anxiety, the fear um, that took you out of character. Because when you are out of character, you won't be able to work with children. When you are out of character and not standing in, in alignment with your assignment, you won't be able to do things from um, your highest um, space of awareness, right? Clarify this. Surrender your intuition. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Now, this is Crystal. Crystal is coming through to let you know that things are going to be okay. There's a, um, an energy here that um, it's very important for you to, if you wake up at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, pray, uh, meditate, um, sit with yourself, clear out, affirm, you know, the opposite of whatever it is that may come to your mind first, right? But if these things come to your mind first, you know, make sure that you are focused on what it is that you want. Because they're saying here that there's a lot of good things on the horizon, but you have to clear out this heart energy. You have to clear uh, clear, clear out the heart chakra, clear out this um, holding on to these negative thoughts, holding on to these negative emotions, holding on to this negative way of being because you... The next, the next situations that you are about to approach are going to require more of you being having more faith. Okay, they're going to require for you to have more faith. Let's pull out the tarot cards now. Clarify this, Archangel Uriel, please. See, you're well on your way with this three of wands, right? You're just waiting for some things to come in. You're waiting to receive some type of message. You're waiting for some type of clarity. Um, I feel like you're waiting for the debris or, um, to settle the dust to settle before you can move forward. You're waiting. And you're, it, I feel that something came in and brought you to a standstill when it comes to the things that you are building, right? You may have tried to work with, um, these hyenas. Okay. They want you to be careful. See, that's why you got to have your emotions clear because you're going. If you move into the future with the same beliefs, the same patterns, you're just going to attract more of what you don't want. So try not to be so resistant to allowing things to come to you. I really feel like um, when it comes to inf comes to clarity and information, instead of asking a lot of people, watching a lot of these readings on the channel, right? Instead of doing all of that, you want to make sure that you are sitting with yourself, right? This is. Um, cooperation but i feel like this is you working with two of your spirit guides you are a spirit guide and you are also working with two spirit guides okay and i feel like you are very protective protected and you may be protective because you do like to work with children or you have a a certain um space in your heart for for just being around children and also if you don't work with children but you do feel more like yourself when you're around children go around children go sit at a park and watch kids play 
Release that anger. Release that unforgiveness. If you were a child who didn't get a chance to play like that, you were a child who didn't get a chance to experience the things that most kids experience, it's time to let that go. You've come to a space, you're grown, you've matured um, more in certain areas of your life. Now it's time to mature in this area of your life. You got to let it go. You ain't got to do nothing. You can hold on to it if you want to. It ain't my life. It's your life. I get it. Okay. Now, clarify this three of wands. See? It's a happy outcome. I really feel like um, what you are thinking or what you are expecting when you go to, like you may be needing to um, be around your family and friends, but there's something that happened in the family that you can't let go of or you haven't really dealt with. Um, the person or the people may have apologized in the past, but overall you just like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I still don't trust y'all motherfuckers, right? So you know what boundary to set with them, but you don't have to hold on to so much of the anger, the frustration, the heartache, right? So in order to get this Ten of Cups, right, they want you to know that everything will be okay. They want you to know that once you work through this part of your process, that you will get the happiness, joy, and bliss that is necessary for you to continue to have faith in good things because there's an ebb and flow in everything, right? There's an ebb and flow in... Um, the giving and receiving. There's an ebb and flow in our our feelings towards ourselves and other people. There's an ebb and flow in business. There's an ebb and flow in everything. It's an ebb and flow. Maybe maybe you um, craving carbs this week, and your next flow is that you're craving a lot of sugar. I don't know your life. It's still an ebb and flow. Learn your ebb and flow. Learn your up season, your down season. Learn your meditative season versus, you know, your active season, right? Because I feel like you'll have a lot to celebrate. Um, something had to die in order for something to be reborn or be rebirthed. This is really fitting like it's you, okay? Now, Clarify this Ten of Cups. Maybe even a commitment. Some of you may even be dealing with someone at a distance who um, you're unsure of because they remind you so much of your past. Some of y'all are walking back into your past more than you are walking in your present or thinking about your future. Okay? Um, try not to uh, dwell on the past because it already happened. How can you change it? What can you do to change who you are, your perspective, and how you move in this world? What is this Ten of Cups, honey? The Eight of Swords in reverse, getting out of your head, releasing yourself from the confines of your mind, the confines of holding. See, that's the thing about forgiveness. The thing about forgiveness is that a lot of times people hold on to betrayal, heartache, being hurt, hoping that they are the poison that they are eating, the unforgiveness, the poison that they are eating and swallowing and taking in will somehow kill somebody else it's killing you you have to remember that when people do things they move on with their life and they more than likely probably continue to do things until they you know get their karma and sometimes people even when they get their karma they still go hard it just make them go harder because you know people feed you you know you people feed certain stuff people people feed certain stuff so it feels like you are coming out of this entrapment, coming out of this entanglement, coming out of this um, web of lies, this web of deceit, this web of um, lim being limited to how things were and um, freeing yourself from having to fight and, and fight old wounds. These eight swords may, may be that. Things that aren't real anymore, but you have their real in your head. Okay. Now, what is Rosetta talking about? <laughs> Clarify Rosetta. Yep. You, the devil in reverse and the four swords in reverse. So maybe what it is that you have that to do with children or your childhood has to do with toxic patterns of behavior, addictions, teaching about toxic patterns of behaviors or addictions, um, releasing your bloodline from these um, generational cycles. Um, with this four swords in reverse, the four swords and the, and the devil in reverse, okay? You can't see it. So with this, um, I'm saying that you are releasing yourself again, but even with the eight of swords, right? You may, have, there's something to do with children and teaching them about, you know, these toxic patterns. This, um, this has a lot to do with the root chakra and the, 
the animalistic patterns that um, we inherit as well as bring, carry over into our new lives if you believe in reincarnation. But I really feel that this has a lot to do with breaking soul ties. This has a lot to do with not um, giving in to toxic relationships with yourself and other people. Um, not uh, making moves and stabilizing your mental energy by going deep down and doing the shadow work that is necessary in order for you to progress forward. That's what you teach it. Or maybe that's the lesson that you learned from, you know, the universe, honey. Now, clarify this uh, devil card and this four of swords. Yeah. Because you've had enough. You're exhausted. You're tired. You've been attacked. Um, I feel as though you've, um, you had to get to this space, right? This is the four of cups and the 10 of swords. You had to get to this space where it's important for you to release this. It was like you were on your last leg. We have two injured people here. We have one person being carried to a doctor and we have another person lying in a hospital bed. So some of you have seen where things have taken your family out, taken your peers out, and you are uh, releasing yourself from the, the confines of those patterns, okay? There's something about even dietary um, issues or um, the patterns that go with how, okay, the things that the family eat, the things that the family, the intake, the ingestion, whatever it is they ingest that and intake that had a lot to do with sickness, a lot to do like you, I feel like you may even be teaching um, nutrition to children. Um, I also feel like there's something to do with the elderly because once the man, twice the child, right? So this really is giving like um, a lot of learning from what has happened in, in the past, what has happened in your life, where you almost were, what you were almost, you know, um, taken down by. Now you are realizing how this works. You're not, um, you're in the space of stabilizing your emotions, stabilizing the way that you move, um, logic, balancing the logic and the emotion. Because even with this 10 of swords and this, um, four of cups, right? Um, I feel like a lot of mental energy, a lot of um, talking, a lot of um, anxiety, a lot of um, travel. Some of you may have gained weight from traveling. Um, some, of, Yeah, there may be something about gaining weight from travel. But with this Ten of Swords um, and this Four of Cups, you put more thought, probably too much thought, into people and then you got you you thought that your emotional boundaries were strong but you got to the point where the emotions started to spill over but you didn't get as far in your emotions as you did in your thoughts your mind and how you allowed that to affect you and pierce your energy and put rings and tears in your aura here I feel like some people barely got away from this, but you were one of the ones who did get away, right? Um, I also feel with this Ten of Swords that this may have been crippling. Whatever you went through may have been crippling. Whatever it is that you went through may have been um, painful. It may even be painful for you to think about it, but it's, this is all turning around with this Ten of Swords. Something is about to happen that's going to change everything. Um, there may even be that some of you were going through some issues with, um, the emotional connection with your children or your child's emotional connection to food. And you are realizing now what's going on. They may have had some allergies to certain food, or they may have been feeding the damn cat or the dog some. Okay. But I'm, I am seeing here where, you know, you want to keep an eye out on, the things that have gone on and the things that almost took you out but made you stronger. Because there's something new on the horizon. You just have to wait for it. It's not to be revealed tonight. Yay. It's not to be revealed tonight. All right. Clarify crystal for me, please. Clarify crystal, please, honey. Mm-hmm. I told you. This is a creative spark, right, first and foremost, but this is your desire to move forward. This is a strong will and strong desire to move forward, right? 
I really feel like, okay, so Crystal says have faith and hope because there's something positive on the horizon that you can't see, right? So you're a blazing moving forward, right? You're making things happen. Your emotions are balanced now, but I also feel like there may be um, someone here who is coming in that you, they coming in strong, right? Someone is coming in strong with some type of information. They're coming in strong, trying to get something from you and you are putting that fire out with your water. It's a fire sign. So you may be putting the fire out with your water. They may have come in with the gas light and they may have come in with how they used to be trying to make you angry, trying to tell you who you are and how you are. And you are simply putting the out, putting the fire out. There's no other way about it. Because what I'm getting here is that <clears throat> when this person comes in, they are always on go. Always on go. They are always on go to the to the point to where um, they may be physically fit. This may be someone who um, works out a lot. Um, strong upper body. Um this is someone who um, always has some type of, you know, their pa whatever they're passionate about, they always come through with some type of, you know, huge, great idea, right? Um, they start a lot of projects, don't finish them or what have you, and you are like, no, I'm using my intuition this time. That's what she said. I'm using my intuition this time. You know, you won't get away with that this time. You won't be able to just come in here and do this, that, and the other this time, okay? You won't be able to use me this time you won't be able to um waste my time this time she said she putting the, the fire out with her words though i feel like this is someone who is soft-spoken clarify this knight of wands six of pentacles i told you it wasn't an even give and take it was not something like this person may even want money from you or trying to figure out how to come in and get money from you this may be someone burning something to get things from you okay we got to talk about that too but at the end of the day um i feel like they may be in and out of town or they may be someone who is a merchant or someone who um is a has a revolving door they have different people that they try to scam okay Clarify the Six of Pentacles, but justice will be served, I'm telling you. Okay, so now they're in the upright. The fuck? The um, devil and the four of swords. So with them clarifying crystal, what I'm getting here is that someone may even try to tie you up in a situation, get you to do some things that you just healed from, just got out of. That's your challenge. That's your, that's your challenge. Your challenge. Let me scoot up. Your challenge is to prevail. Get um, This is your challenge. This is your test, right? This may be some type of gathering or outing when you run into this person. Pulling back and, and moving into it. Um, this is you going into a space. When they come around, when whoever this is comes around that you were connected to in the past, that you outgrew, that you got over, that you forgave them, you let them know it's over, it's done. I don't want no ties with you. They can't believe that it's over and done. They still want to make things happen. They can't. They 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 don't take accountability for anything. And now they are um, move. You when they come in, you are moving into a space where no, I'm going to go and gather my thoughts. I'm going to go and gather my plans. I'm going to go and meditate. I'm going to go and stabilize my connection to my intuition. I'm going to like no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and. I'm going to go and talk to a man about a dog. Clarify this devil card. Yep. See? The Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. This person is coming in probably trying to ask you for some money or get some type of money from you. Here, they come coming in sharp, quick, or what have you. But I feel like this Knight of Swords is you. This Knight of Pentacles is them. They may be going through some things where they are almost destitute. They are almost in financial ruin. It's going to be on you how you handle this, okay? Because I don't be talking to nobody. So, I know I'm not going to be a water sign at that time. Because I don't be talking. Baby, I ain't got time. Don't come over here playing your games, baby. We didn't have enough games for this year, bitch. No more quarters. Now, I feel like um, this Knight of Swords is you. You have a lot of information. You went up, okay? Let me go up here and... Okay, so you went up. 
And now you went up with this four swords, you came back with this knight of swords, like, no, I'm blowing a horn on this shit. I'm finna let it be known that it's this, that, and the other. I feel like ain't no hoes bored. You letting people know exactly where they got you fucked up and, and, and meaning in it and standing in it because you did all this emotional healing and now you want to go back into that? I don't think so. That's what, nah, -uh, that, that ain't what that is. Now, <clears throat> This Knight of Pentacles in reverse has some type of offer that they want to make you or some type of, uh, this is a destruction of plans. Someone is trying to destroy your plans, trying to destroy your finances, trying to get their way, make their way out of no way. Justice will prevail. I feel like some of you are taking matters into your own hands. You may be filing some type of uh, paperwork here and waiting for it to come through. You may be in a space of um, communicating with someone who has more information than you do with the matter of dealing with this person here. I meant to put that, uh, till the cups pop that. Till the cups pop that. Now, so I really do feel <clears throat> like, um, again, you, um, will be discussing something here Letting people know exactly where, you know, I'm tired, I'm not doing that, but doing it in a, um, a more compassionate way because you've done so much work. So when you do, by the time you do see them, they, they don't even know which way or how to come at you when they come to you. And what it's going to do is pro, um, provide, um, this is um, happiness joy bliss a celebration possibly right but overall this is your commitment to yourself this is your commitment to your um lineage this is your commitment to um evolving and ascending right because at the end of the day what's happening here is that you know if you need to go to the authorities go to the authorities i need to that's what i was gonna say i need to put the um fbi thing on there for y'all too there's a thing for the FBI to start cracking down on these cyber stalkers and fishers and shit. Yeah. Get to the FBI. You're going to have to. It's time. Because people are going too far. So if this person is doing anything, you want to make sure that you take care of that. See? Six of swords. You, you got away from it. You are blocking it here. <clears throat> this is mental clarity. Standing in your truth. Standing in your power. You're not confused about where you are, who you are. And this, this person is blocked from communicating with you in the way that they used to because you've done the work, right? They are blocked from even being able to try and pull their old tricks on you. But the thing about this is the way that you feed it. So if you go ahead and do this work and focus on your purpose here and know that something positive is on the horizon, that means that something is going to be taken care of. And I feel like that's what this is. These people are being, this person is being taken care of. If it's more than one person, they are being taken care of. They are blocked. You went through what you needed to. You went through the chaos. You went through the fire. Now they are being blocked, so you no longer have to even pay it any attention. Just keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it moving forward. Keep it moving forward. That's what he's doing. He's looking at. He keeping it moving forward. Okay? I'm very oily tonight. Whatever. Chad. Okay, what is this six? Clarify this six of swords, and we're about to roll up out of here. King of Cups and the Six of Cups. So this is nostalgic feelings of the past. This is also someone who is coming in who is a, a man that stands in their truth or a woman. But I, it's probably a man, okay? So someone who's, who is emotionally intelligent, someone who doesn't feel like playing games. This may be someone that you met in the past and that they're coming back here in the future or in the present in order for you to know that love does exist, true romance does exist. Someone who is not emotionally manipulative, it does exist. Someone who will connect with you and bring you joy, happiness, and bliss does exist. Y'all heard? Now, surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Say it again. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any good feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. That's what they say. So, you, I don't know. You ain't got to listen to them. Always use your own discernment. Always take only what applies and let the rest fly. If it don't apply, no need to reply. Okay. We don't have that problem over here. <clears throat> only from trolls. Trolls do that. We don't have that problem from upstanding people that's doing the work. Okay? They just be like, that. this ain't me. Let me go to part three. Now, <clears throat> I wish you all the best, okay? I look sleepy, bitch.
All right, I love y'all. Let me get on part three. Bye.